guys, so um, most of y'all know that I've been on the Live Original Tour for the past month. And so every single day on the tour, we do um, a question and answer. And I have gotten three consistent questions every single night um, that I've been addressing every single night in pretty much the same way. And every single night, everybody's like, oh my gosh, I never thought of it like that. And it's very simple. It's kind of just like... Um, Maybe just a new way of looking at a question that you've asked yourself for a really long time. And the three questions are, one, how do I make time for God um, whenever I have a busy schedule? Two, how do you not get mad at God and how does your faith not waver when you go through hard seasons of your life? And three, uh, how do you separate this question? I really don't like, but this was the question. How do you separate... Um, time whenever like you have a boyfriend and how do you separate that time with like spending time with him and spending time with God so it's okay if you ask any of these three questions but I want to talk about them because I think it really is one of those questions it's a simple answer but um, it's one that you just might not have thought about so here's the thing all of these things have to do with pretty much like time and separation um, and like managing this relationship with God um, and managing your relationship like with God and with the world. And here is the thing with that and I think how we're looking at it wrong. Sometimes I think that we've created this like pause and play relationship with God. And what I mean by that is like we go into like our quiet time or we go into like our, for me, my porch time where I sit out and I have coffee and I have the Bible and I'm praying and stuff like that. And technically that is like, yes, my personal private time with God. But whenever I leave that time, I don't press pause on my relationship with God and then play and go back and like live out my life because time, your time and God's time should not be a separate thing. Because when I walk away from this porch with my time with God, God's going with me. Like, there is no separation there, and there's nothing I have to manage or something like that. It's like literally He is my time. And so how do I, um, how do I manage a relationship with God in a busy schedule? Well, He's in my busy schedule. He is every part of my busy schedule. And I think that even part of the reason why we say, why are we only experiencing happiness but we're not experiencing joy? Why can we not stay happy? Why can we not always have peace when God says that we'll have peace that surpasses all understanding and peace that will prosper? Why do we not have confidence all the time whenever like it says like when we're in the Word and we're confident in Him, then... Um, and like that he delights in us, like why can't we believe that? And I think because of this pause and play relationship, when we press pause and we go out in our life, it runs out. The, the happiness runs out. But when you create a space of joy and he's in the midst of all your time, when you walk, he's with you and in him you have joy. When you walk, he's with you and in him you have peace. When you walk, he's with you and because you're confident in him, you're confident in who you can be. You know what I mean? So that cannot be a separate thing. In a relationship, how do I manage time between my boyfriend and God? You don't. He's in the relationship. If that's a separate thing, then you're probably starting to figure this out the hard way, but it's probably not good. It's probably not the relationship you always prayed for or dreamed of because you're trying to create like a separate relationship with God and with Him in the reality of things. Like God should be y'all's striving point. God should be y'all's bonding. God should be y'all's middle ground. Like God should be the foundation. Um, and He should be all up in that relationship. There's no separation. And then... Because there's no separation and because in him you have all these things that dwell in your heart. You have the fruits of the spirit. You have these promises that are unending. You have this God who is consistent and holy, holy, holy. Even the angels who surround him day and night, all they can say is holy, holy, holy. Are you Lord God Almighty who was and is to and is to come even when you go through the hard times and even when you go through the times that don't really make sense or may seem like a process your faith doesn't waver your faith doesn't is not tested you're not mad at God but in fact if anything you're more in love with who he is and you're more thankful for who he is because for me I've realized 
maybe nothing in my life is consistent. Maybe everything in my life is going wrong. Maybe this is happening in my life, but even though this is happening in my life, I love God all the more because He's the one thing I can always count on. He's the one thing that is always going to hold me steady. He's the one thing that even when it doesn't make sense at all, I am going to have peace. I am going to have joy. I am going to be confident. I am going to, um, I am going to be okay, you know, because he is good and he's not leading me anywhere that he's not going. And so I think that once you realize that like your relationship with God is an ever present thing, it says in Psalms 36, um, my God is my refuge and my strength and ever present help in times of trouble. Therefore, I will not fear though the earth gives way. I will not fear I've said this verse over and over and over again, but I love how it starts because it says, God is my refuge, he is my strength, and ever-present help in times of trouble. You don't have to have fear anymore. You don't have to have doubt. You don't have to have worry. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to have all these things because he is in ever-present help. He's always, he's consistent, he's a constant. He's awesome, he's so good. So don't separate any time from his time because the best place you can ever be is in the center of God's will. And the best place you can ever be is wrapped up in his timing um, because it's perfect and it's beautiful and it's detailed and it's so intentional and it will blow your mind. It will absolutely blow your mind. So if that's a waiting process or if that's just a walking in a new direction, walk in that direction or wait or clear change your schedule to make sure that that he is your time and don't separate that relationship that's something that you always want to be in you know it's powerful it's very very powerful so i guess that kind of addresses all three questions it's one how do you make time for god in a busy schedule he is your busy schedule two how do you not get mad at god whenever uh things in your life go wrong because you learn to love the process and you love him even more through the process and He's an ever-present help in times of trouble. The earth may give way. Things in your life may go wrong. Your circumstances go wrong, but he's not going to go wrong. And then three, how do you separate time with your boyfriend and God? You don't. He's in it. And if he's not in it, you're probably going to do something that you probably shouldn't do. So um, just soak in that time with him. And Isaiah says, in the morning my soul earns for you, and in the evening my spirit longs for you. That should be your daily wake-up call and every night your prayer. Uh, and once I change my life to, to saying that in the morning, oh God, this morning my soul is just going to search for you. And at night I say, oh God, this night my spirit just longs for you. And it'll change the way you walk, it'll change the way you dream, it'll change the way you step, it'll change the way you speak, it'll change the way that you live. So wrap up in his timing. And next time I see you, I hope that your questions have changed and even your walk has changed because he will change your steps. So I love you guys and I love your questions. So if you have any more, write them in the comments, message me, whatever you want to do, and I try to answer them. Love y'all.